Don't touch our Wrenchtron 3000. Only someone like me with the proper training can handle it. No time to talk. We have to fix this slight leak. What caused the leak? Well, the Hydrotron's tube is obviously burned out. We could use a new one. Yeah, we must have yes. It's already closed. Definitely Agent Ray's notebook. I will, of course, refrain from perusing its contents. Agent Protocol. I don't want to pick that up. Yes, I can use it by tossing something in it. Bye-bye, tuna heads. Throwing it away. I'm not showing my badge here. Definitely Agent Ray's notebook. I will, of course, refrain from perusing it. I don't need this. Throw it away? I don't think so. I'm not opening up that disgusting trash can. It's locked. Welcome to the S&D Diner. Hey, just so you know, that article in the Thimbleweed Nickel about botulism was a smear job. So, what can I do for you, honey? What's up with the sheriff? He's kind of weirdorino. Yeah, he's kind of a nut job, but nothing compared to the coroner. This whole town has gotten downright weird in the last few years. Cuckooville. The coroner and the sheriff are the same person. Well, there might be some resemblance around the eyes, but that's about it. The sheriff does this annoying a Reno thing, and the coroner does an annoying a who. It pretty much proves they're not the same person. How does speech prove they're not the same person? You're asking a lot of questions that probably shouldn't be asked. I'm a federal agent. That's my job. I've said too much already. I'm a federal agent. Know anything about the dead body? Not too much, just scuttlebutt from the morning breakfast crowd. And I don't want to get into trouble, especially with a crazy person like him. You're not talking about me, are you? Shut up, Dave. What's up with this town? Most of the stores are abandoned. Used to be the center of culture in the Tri-County area. Parties every night at the hotel. Celebrities visit the Edmund Mansion mansion. It was hard to not make money in those days. Of course, it was before my time. And since the pillow factory burnt down, the town is drying up faster than Dave's sex drive. Ain't that right, Dave? We're the feds. You can trust us. What else do you know? Okay, honey. But you didn't hear this from me. I'd look into that crazy clown that lives out at the old circus. He's been out there since the circus closed down years ago. Never takes his makeup off. He's got serial killer written all over him. It all happened about nine or ten years ago. Ransom the Jerk was the featured act at Stupendous Brothers Circus. He was about ready to go on stage and meet his well-earned doom. Big night tonight. Full house after my raunchiest Tonight Show appearance. I really got Johnny good, that little jackwad. It's his own fault for not being able to take a joke. I better get ready to go on stage and insult the crap out of these thimbleweed idiots. I just need to fix my hair, put on my makeup and clown nose, and find my joke book. I glued him to the table so no one can steal him. Let's see if I can remember this combination. I give up. I don't remember the combination. My circus poster featuring the amazing Ransom the Clown.
No time for food. I have to get on stage. Ouch! That's tight, but it'll have to do. Glad I only have to wear it for a couple of hours. What the hell is this? The number of letters in the top right word of the big top sign. The number of light bulbs on the makeup mirror. The number of kids that Carney Joe has. Must have written it when I was on a bender. It's my lawyer's business card. It's an IOU. I, Carney Joe, loan ransom the clown $1,000 and will hold his joke book hostage until I gets paid. Hmm. The number of letters in the top right word of the big top sign. The number of light bulbs on the makeup mirror. The number of kids that Carney Joe has. Ransom, I'm glad I caught you before you went on stage. Autographs are a hundred bucks. Ransom, I'm your business manager and lawyer. I don't want your autograph. Okay, 50 then. I just wanted to let you know that your mistress is waiting at your house in Aspen. And your private jet is being fueled and ready to whisk you there when the show is over. Also, we have a deal worth millions to license a line of toddler Ransom the Clown talking insult dolls. Did you get the liability clause waived? Correct. They will assume all liability when the kids grow up to be beepholes. Good. Toddlers start out as It's not my fault they end up that way. Okay, fine. 25 bucks. I should have been a dentist. You! Ransom, you idiot! Why did you push me? Oh! Hey, you owe five bucks to my swear jar. Ransom, you jerk! I'll steal your clown nose again, that's what I'll do! I think my steels are broken! I can't get up! Ransom, you jerk! I can't get up! I'll steal your clown nose again, that's what I'll do! Ransom, you're a total... I can't get up! Hmm. The number of letters, the number of light, the number of... Grand prize if you can shoot the hair off, Ransom the Clown! You got my money, Clowny? That's Ransom the Clown, asswipe. Okay, you got my money, Ransom the Asswipe Clown? One thousand clams or you're not getting your joke book back. Eh, yeah, serves you right for playing the duckies. So, uh, how's the old ball and chain and kids, huh? My wife's doing fine, no thanks to you. And so are the four kids. But they still cries themselves to sleep every night after that stare you gave them. I need my joke book. The crowd's waiting for me. I told you before. You ain't getting it till I get the thousand bucks you owe me for the duckies. Plus, $138 in interest. Where the f am I gonna get that kind of dough? I have a show to do. 138 bucks in interest, you loan shark. You are putting a squeeze on me. Not my problem. F you, I'm out of here. It's fresh out of that crappy popcorn. Must be a huge crowd in the big top. Now there's the face I love. Ooh, my cloud fro looks great now. 
I don't wear hats. It's the list of all the who swore here at the circus. I'm the only who can swear. All the rest have to pay up. I'll get you, Ransom the Clown! I'll steal your clown! Let's see if I can remember this combination. Okay, now. And finally... Ta da! Next time, I'm setting it to one, two, three. It's exactly a thousand dollars in unmarked bills. I'll get you, Ransom the Clown! I think my I don't have time to leave the circus. I have to get ready for my act. Ransom, you're a total. I can't walk in through the main entrance like a tuna head. That doesn't seem to work. I just take the big bucks. It's exactly eleven $1 hundred and thirty-eight dollars in unmarked bill. Try your skill. Oh, so you decided to pay up. Yeah, well, not much choice. Now where's my joke book? Yeah, the jokes all suck. So how'd you get to be so famous with jokes like these? Yeah? What do you know about being funny? Uh, about as much as you do, which is nothing. Now scram, Clowny. You're scaring the customers. Yeah, take a shot. Hello, faces. I'm Ransom the insult clown. I hope no one gets their feelings hurt easily, and if you do, it's your own fault for not being able to take a joke. You guys are obsessed with this Chuck guy. Seriously, I haven't seen brainwashing like this since the Manson family. Blink twice, you want me to get help? You read the rag, the nickel news? I'd use it as toilet paper, but I'm not sure it can fit any more on its pages. Probably make it a more interesting read, though. Hey, you, lady with a huge nose. I say lady, but your beak suggests you're a toucan. You shouldn't have bought tickets for the show tonight, toots. You should be saving your money for a rhinoplasty. Hey, you, dude with the stupid mustache. You think you look like Magnum P.I.? A 70s porn star called. He wants his mustache back. Hey, you, kid with the ugly shirt. Are you colorblind? Your shirt is about to give me a seizure. I mean, I'm a clown, and even I wouldn't touch something that garish. Hey, you, kid with a crappy wheelchair. Were you in a past life or something? Seriously, kid, you're in a wheelchair, and you got a face that looks like that? God's definitely punishing you for something. Hey, you, ugly old lady with a hairy mole. Or is it your parasitic twin? Whatever it is, I hope you bought a separate ticket. Because if it's big enough to ride the roller coaster by itself, it's not freeloading in my audience. You will be forever sorry for what you've just said. I curse you to never be able to remove your makeup and to roam these circus grounds until the end of time. He went on for another two hours, insulting everyone he could. Some people laughed because they thought it was funny, but most laughed because they were uncomfortable, and laughing is the best way to hide from the embarrassment of others. 
But after the show, in his dressing room, there wasn't gonna be any laughter. Ha! I killed tonight! One of my best shows ever! I hope that ugly old lady with a curse breaks a hip on the way home. Now to get this makeup off, hop on my private jet, and go see my mistress Cindy in Aspen. Yeah. What the? F this makeup isn't coming off. The f you, old lady. You up the? You come on. As much as he tried, his makeup wouldn't come off. That old lady wasn't just any old lady. She was Madame Morena, mistress of the dark arts. When she curses you, it's not an empty threat. Something Ransom was just now finding out. This makeup of that old... My lady! Ransom, I've got some bad news. What do you want, you bald, greedy little... Can't you see I'm having a problem? Grab a tissue and some rubbing alcohol and help me, you... Your private jet crashed while trying to land. Your wife found out about your mistress, and she's taking everything you own except the house in Aspen. There was a fire in Aspen, and your house burned to the ground. The toy and doll licensing deal is dead, and they're suing you for breach. And one more thing. I quit. What?! And go beep yourself. And that's why Ransom the Clown is such a creep. And you should go arrest him for murder. That's an interesting story. We'll go check up on him. one of these hot dogs. Good choice, honey. We're trying to move him out. Let me get that for you. Eat up, hun, while it's still hot. Mm. Oh. Mm. Okay. That is the worst hot dog I've ever eaten. I, um, gotta go. <laughs> I feel better now. I don't want to pick that up. Filled to the brim with smelly trash. where we can talk. Alrighty now. Um, based on your sign, I was kind of expecting this place to be a bakery. Sorry about that, hon. This used to be Ricky's Cakes, but now we sell vacuum tubes. Oh, that's a shame. I was really hoping for a slice of cherry pie. Anyway, I'm Special Agent Reyes. I have some questions for you. Oh, pleased to meet you. I'm Ricky Lee, and I'm the proprietor of this little store. What can I do for you, hun? I'm looking for a tube. We have lots of tubes here. Over 3,000 different makes and models. Do you know the two-letter model identifier? And what is the make number? Oh, did one of the Hydrant Tron tubes burn out again? Oh, yes. The Pigeon Brothers need one right away. Okay, I'll put it on the town's account. Hmm. I haven't seen Agent Ray for a while. Wonder what happened to her. I'll get one for you, hun. You just wait right there. I'll be back before you know it. Here you go. Give the pigeons my regards.
It's my speck of dust. It seems to be out of tokens. It's out of order. It's for a mucus phlegm adventure game called Jason the News Guy. It's out of order. It seems to be out of tokens. It seems to be out of tokens. It's out of order. It's out of tokens. I guess I need to find tokens somewhere else. That doesn't seem to work. That Ransom the Clown isn't very popular around here. It says he eats tuna. Excuse me, ma'am. My, my, my. What do we have here? I'm sorry, ma'am. I don't pay for affection. <laughs> Sweetie, I'm not a hooker. Although, there is something about a man in federally mandated polyester that makes me want to forget my wedding vows. I'm Lenore Edmund Mulch, of the famed Pillowtronics Edmund family, and I'm waiting for my husband and son to arrive on the bus. What are you doing at the bus station? I'm just waiting for my husband and son to arrive, but it seems they will be a while. Maybe you and I could go and get better acquainted in the meantime, sweetie? Sorry, but I'm working on a case right now, ma'am. Do you know anything about the body by the river? Oh, sweetie. Yes, yes, yes. So glad someone is finally getting rid of it. But one does hear things, and I do have an inkling of who might be connected to this nasty business. Tell me who you think is connected to the body. Well, I hate to cast aspersions, but I suppose it is for the good of the town. Tell me what you know. Actually... No, I can't do this. The Edmund reputation is at stake. Ma'am, please tell me what you know. Fine, it was my sister Dolores. She abandoned our family and the business to become a... Call center operative? No, 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 no. It was far worse. She became... A video game developer. It all started a few years back. Uh, she only wanted one thing. To be a game designer for that awful game company. Mucus phlegm. Uncle Chuck wanted something else for her, but no. She was too selfish. Only wanted to make stupid adventure games. I've got to get out of this town. Uncle Chuck wants me to program his factory computers, but I just want to design games. I wish I could get a job at a company like Mucus Phlegm Games. Now the only thing I have to look forward to is my favorite computer magazine. In fact, I should check the mailbox and see if it's arrived yet. I don't want to pick that up. My state-of-the-art Commodore 64 is turned on. That doesn't seem to work. This is a great program, but I don't have time to use it right now. These are in mint condition. It's the math trophy I won when I was 12 and attending a Ricky Lee's famous thimbleberry pie. I don't have time to eat pie right now, even. I should check the mailbox for my computer magazine. Hi there, George. I was just about to check the mail. Great timing. You still around, Dolores? Thought you'd have left this podunk of a town by now. 
Yes, hopefully soon. I'm looking for a job at a game company in the big city. That's not gonna make your Uncle Chuck happy. He'll just have to deal with it. What brings you all the way out here? I have your special magazine here. Oh, I've been waiting for that. Thank you. Sure, it's what we dedicated government employees do. Walk all the way out into the country to deliver a magazine. It's Bite Me World, the best computer magazine ever. Wow! An ad for a job at Mucus Flem Games, my favorite game company. I hear they make movies, too. This could be a dream come true. I'm going to apply. Interesting. There's a modem number to call. I can't leave the mansion mansion yet. Hi, Doug. What are you digging? All right, Dolores. I'm just digging stuff in the front green. Mostly holes. But then I buries them again, all neat and tidy. Okay, Doug. You're doing a good job. Ta, Dolores. Digging in the front green. Digging in the front green with my rusty shovel. Digging. Digging. I'm dialing the mucus phlegm modem number. It's connecting. I can't believe my computer is connected to mucus phlegm. Welcome to the new online mucus phlegm job application program. Just fill out your personal information and answer a few simple mucus programming questions. Then print out the application and send it to mucus phlegm. We'll get back to you in exactly five days. What is your name? Thank you. What is your address? Noted. Next, what's your programming language of choice? The language you are most proficient in. Interesting choice. Please answer the following questions about our proprietary mucus programming language. You must get all of the questions right to submit your application. First question. When the screen scrolls, it moves by... It'd be better to find some reference book on mucus before I answer these. I need to go find a book about mucus programming. Hi again, George. It's not like a government employee to make a mistake, but I forgot to deliver this important letter for your Uncle Chuck. He's busy in his workshop and can't be disturbed. I'll take it for him. Okay, Dolores. Here it is. And remember, it's illegal to open someone else's mail. Punishable by a $50,000 fine and or five years in jail. Thanks, George. That's good to know. Okay, back to my vitally important government job. I'd better not open it. Uncle Chuck would know if I read it. If the em Hmm. It says there's a book on mucus here. It's in section 3.1. It says out of order. Chucky has been sitting here forever. I don't want to move him now.
I don't want to pick that up. The sign says it's out of order. No one will miss this out of order sign. The out of order sign is gone, so it's obviously fixed. Haven't been up here for a long time. That's Uncle Chuck as a young man, with robots on his mind even then. That's my grandmother, Edith, and her second husband, Charles. I really admire them. That's my great-grandfather, Edmund Edmund, who was a great industrialist. That's my great-great-grandmother, Lady Edwina. That's my Scottish great-great-great-grandfather, Edgar the Dragon Slayer. Please answer the following questions about our proprietary mucus programming language. You must get all of the questions right to submit your application. First question. When the screen scrolls, it moves by... Next question. What type of files are compiled scripts packed into? Next question. How many actors can be displayed at one time? Next question. What are room backgrounds compressed into? Thank you for taking the Mucus Phlegm programming test. Congratulations, you passed the Mucus Phlegm programming test. Yay! I answered all the mucus questions correctly. I'm ready to print out the application. The application is all filled out. Just have to send it in. Better not. That might start a fire. Just have to keep going. trying to, you know, help. Is that yelling? Oh, gag me. I hope my dad and Uncle Chuck aren't fighting again. And since most of the machinery at the pillow factory is lying fallow, I've come up with this, you know, great plan to repurpose them. We can use them to make, you know, plush toys. Franklin, you idiot! The company is Pillowtronics, not stupid plush toy-tronics. We make pillows! 
What do you think that would do to our credibility, our reputation? O okay, Chuck, you're right, but um, I was up all night working on the business plan. Maybe uh, you could just, you know, look at it? No, no, no! It's a pillow factory! Are you two fighting again? I'm getting so sick of this. You're brothers. Take a chill pill. You started the pillow factory together. Won't you ever stop fighting about it? Nothing you need to worry about, Dolores. Uh, right, Franklin, old brother? Ah, yes. You know, your uncle and I were just, uh, you know, talking business. I have some work to do. Dolores, can you get my 0.8 millimeter point tip soldering iron? You know, Uncle Chuck, you should use a two millimeter flat tip and you never heat your solder hot enough. <laughs> That's my favorite niece. I can't wait for you to take over the pillow factory. I know you'll keep the Edmund pillow dream alive. <laughs>